Okay, now let's go solve this base rule problem in Excel. Here's the output we're going to go get when we do this. Um, so we're going to go into Excel and do all of these calculations. Okay, so here we are with a general template. I uh, notice the template's going to look the same for all of the um, the problems where we have two possible forecasts and two possible outcomes. Um, so you can kind of use this template here um, as a general template for all your base rule problems where again you have two decisions, two forecasts. If you had more than two decisions, um, then you um, would just add um, more columns if you had or sorry, if you had more than two outcomes, you would add more columns here. If you had more than two forecasts, you would add more rows here in this table. Uh, but yeah, let's start doing this problem. So in our case, uh, we know that um, the odds of high demand for the wood pellets was 90%. Um, so that gives the odds of not high demand at 10%. Okay. We also know the forecaster correctly forecasted this high demand 80% of the time, and that uh, he or she correctly forecasted uh, not high demand, so low demand or no change in demand, 65% of the time. Okay, now um, that means, so going down this um, column here, the forecaster forecasted high demand uh, correctly 80% of the time. So the forecaster forecasted incorrectly and forecasted low demand or no change 20% of the time. And then the forecaster forecasted no change or low demand correctly 65% of the time. So in that means 35% of the time in the cases where um, the forecaster forecasted high demand, the forecaster was incorrect. Okay, these probabilities here help us get our uh, and calculations. So... Um, the um, ands are the following. Take your conditional, times it by your overall probability. Um, so these are the conditionals based on the actual demand, what was the forecast, and then times that by your actual demand probabilities. Um, and if you want here, you should lock the five right there. Um, and then you can copy this formula down and across. Here we are. So I'm basically just redoing a base rule calculation. So this is very similar to what we did in a previous video. Um, so again, you just need to lock that five up here. So we stay in row five here. And we want to be able to move through this table and we want to be able, be able to move from row, or sorry, column B to column C. So it only locked the five. Um, and then it, um, when I copy this formula across and down, it um, correctly multiplies the correct probability, conditional probability by the um, overall probability depending on whether you have actual high demand or actual not high demand. Okay, so here are our um, ands, if you will, and this is then our contingency table. Um, and this gives us our overall probability that the forecaster forecasts high demand. So 75.5% of the time the forecaster forecasts high demand. That may seem high, but if you actually look, you're 90% of the time, the time we actually have high demand. And 24.5% of the time the forecaster forecasts low demand or no change in demand. Okay. Now notice that the, the times that occurs is only 10% of the time. Okay. Now we're just going to sum up these two here. Uh, that should sum to one. Notice here I just have these values autofill in here. This is the sum of these two values. Uh, this 0.245 is the sum of these two values. This 0.9 is the sum of these two values. 0.1 the sum of these. You know you've done this correct as well when your to overall totals here and here are the same as these initial um, singular probabilities. Um, okay, so these right here should match these totals in the, con the contingency table, sorry. Uh, and now moving on to our conditional probabilities, which are the ones we're actually hoping to calculate. So this is kind of our Bayes rule step right here. So if we want the odds given a forecast of the actual demand, we do the following. So given the forecaster forecasted high demand, out of those times, what were the odds that the forecaster was correct? So 72% out of the 75.5% of the time, it was correct. 
and then um, three and a half percent out of the 75.5 percent of the time the forecaster was incorrect there was actually not high demand and then bottom row here um, 18 percent out of the 24 and a half percent of the time um, when the forecaster forecasted no change there was actually a high demand and when the forecaster forecasted no change or low demand um, so six and a half percent of the time here um, out of the 24 and a half percent of the time the forecaster forecast low demand or no change okay so what do these mean um, so what that means is the following so um, 95 percent of the time here when the forecaster forecasted high demand there was actually high demand okay we could kind of call this our true positive we don't necessarily talk about that in this case we talk about false positives uh, false negatives when we're talking about let's say medical testing but you could kind of do the same terminology here too so the forecaster gave a positive forecast and there was actually a positive forecast or there was actually a positive result with high demand 95 percent of the time now let's say the forecaster forecasted high demand there wasn't high demand actually um in 4.6 percent of the cases okay so when the forecaster forecasts high demand the forecaster is correct 95 percent of the time roughly and incorrect 4.6 or roughly five percent of the time now when the forecaster forecasts low demand or no change in demand um, there's actually high demand in 73 percent of the cases this is, our, this is our false negative so when the forecaster says no there's going to be low demand or no change in demand they're incorrect 73 percent of the time when the forecaster forecasts um, again uh, low demand or no change in demand there is actually low demand or no change in demand 26.5 percent of the time this is the true negative so if the forecaster forecasts a positive or high demand they're correct 95 percent of the time but if they forecast a negative outcome or a low demand they are incorrect 73 percent of the time